Hey girls, um, before you watch this video, I want you to click on the little button that's going to be right here. And what I want you to do is it's going to take you to the 2007 AP Chemistry Free Response questions. I want you to practice solving at least question one and then come back. This video has the answer for question one. So pause the video right now after you click on this and then come back. Now if you've unpaused the video and you've already finished answering question number one, we have hydrofluoric acid in water. I'm not writing the state symbols because it's already written for you. Hydronium ion and fluoride. So you have hydrofluoric acid dissociating in water. Question 1a is simply asking you to write the equilibrium constant expression for the dissociation of hydrofluoric acid in water. That would be Ka, equilibrium constant for an acid, and what we know is it's the, the concentration of the products hydronium ion times uh, and the fluoride ion um, divided by the concentration of the reactants raised to their stoichiometric coefficient. In this case all of the coefficients are one. We do not include water because it's a liquid. Continuing that was 1a. Now for 1b um, and remember question number one is always something about equilibrium. Now for 1b they're asking you for the concentration of the hydronium ion but they've given you a zero point, okay wait, calculate the molar concentration of hydronium in a 0 0.40 molarity hydrofluoric acid uh, solution. Okay, so because this is a weak acid, I know that the hydrofluoric acid is not going to fully dissociate. It's not going to fully turn into H3O plus. So I'm going to have to set up an ice table and use some algebra to figure out what the hydronium ion concentration is going to be at equilibrium. So my initial concentration of hydrofluoric acid is 0.4. I do not care about water, so I'm going to cross that out from now. And I, I start with nothing out of my products. Now my change in concentration of hydrofluoric acid is negative x. For hy the hydronium ion, I'm going to gain a positive x, and same thing for the fluoride ion. So my concentration at equilibrium is going to be 0.4 minus x for my reactant, and it's going to be x and x for each of my products. And now I'm just going to plug that into this equation here. I have Ka, which they gave me to be 7.2 times 10 to the negative 4, and that's equal to... Um, the hydronium ion is x and the fluoride ion is x, so that would be x squared divided by my reactant, which is 0 0.4 minus x. Now, I'm going to assume that it only slightly dissociates because it's a weak acid, so what I'm going to actually do is not even include this minus x, so I don't have to use the quadratic formula. Now, in order to solve this, I'm going to multiply both sides by 0.4, 0.4, that gets rid of my denominator, and then in order to get rid of this x squared, I'm going to take the square root of both sides. So x is going to be equal to, that crosses that out, so x is going to be equal to the square root of 0.4 times 7.2 times 10 to the negative 4. Um, that would mean that x, which is the hydronium ion concentration, um, is equal to, you should have gotten 0 0.017 molarity. Um, and that would also be here. That would be my final answer, H3O plus, okay? Now, for 1C, um, this was a two-point question, by the way. It was one point um, to set it up correctly and then another point to for getting the final concentration. Anyway, for C, now they have a slightly different reaction. I'm going to move the page here. They have um, hydrofluoric acid reacts with NaOH, and now I'm only going to put, oh wait, well they already did, they put the reaction for you. Hydrofluoric acid reacts with NaOH, which fully ionizes because it's an alkali metal, so it's really just OH. Um, it, hydrofluoric acid reacts with NaOH according to the reaction represented below, and then they give you H2O and the fluoride ion. Okay. Now for part 1C, they are asking you, calculate the number of moles of hydrofluoric acid that's going to be left in the solution. I'm sorry, they gave you a volume. Sorry, here they gave you a volume of NaOH to be, um, it's 0.4 molarity and they gave you 15 milliliters. And then here they gave you an initial volume of also 0.4 molarity and um, 25 milliliters. 25 milliliters. Okay. Now, right away, the fact that they said calculate the number of moles, I know that I can't deal with these concentrations. I'm going to have to get these to cancel out. So, I'm going to take for hydrofluoric acid, I have um, 25 milliliters of hydrofluoric acid to start with. 
okay? And I'm going to go ahead and convert that into liters. So I'm going to say 10 to the power of 3 milliliters in 1 liter. It gets my milliliters to cancel. And then I'm going to go ahead and multiply it by my molarity, which is 0 0.4 moles of hydrofluoric acid per 1 liter. So my liters cancel, and I should wind up getting... Um, 0 0.10 mole, 0 0.10 mole of hydrofluoric acid. Now I want to do the same thing for my hydroxide ion constant, excuse me, for the moles of the hydroxide ion. I started with 15 milliliters of OH negative. Um, and remember the same, it, because this fully dissociates, if I started with 15 milliliters of NaOH, it's the same thing as saying 15 milliliters of OH. So that's what I started with. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to multiply by one liter over 10 to the power of three milliliters. That gets my milliliters to cancel. I'm in business. Now I'm going to multiply by the concentration, which is the same thing. It's 0.4 moles of OH for every one liter. So my liters cancel. And now what I'm going to wind up getting is 0.006 moles of OH negative, and this is HF, okay? Now, that's not what they asked me. They actually asked me to calculate the numbers of um, hydrofluoric acid remaining in the solution. So basically, you look at this equation, and you say for every um, mole of, of hydrofluoric acid that's going to react with this, like basically, um, what I'm thinking here is, this OH is going to react with this um, hydrofluoric acid. So what I want to do is I want to take the initial amount of hydrofluoric acid and I want to subtract from it the amount of hydroxide that's going to be reacting with it. That's going to give me what's left. So I don't think I explained that right. Basically, it's mole of HF there. Let's just write it out like this. Mole of HF initially, this is the initial, minus the moles of the OH, okay? So whatever we have left over is going to be what we have left over. So it's going to be 0 0.1, I'm sorry, wait, this is, uh, sorry, by the way, this is 0 0.01. 0 0.01 moles minus 0 0.006 moles, and you should get a final answer of 0 0.004 moles total, okay? So whatever I started with with hydrofluoric acid, I'm assuming that all the OH is going to react with it. I'm going to have something left. This is what's left. So that would be the final answer. And that's C. For 1D, now, what's the question? I can barely read it because my computer's at an angle. Calculate the molar concentration of fluoride ions in the solution. Oh, okay, this is, okay. So what they're asking now is they're saying we want the concentration of fluoride in the solution. And I know two things. I know that the, um, the number, okay, let's go back to the equation first of all. Here. I look back at this equation. I want to say um, however many moles I started with of OH negative, I'm going to convert that to products. So I'm going to borrow from my answer here a part of it. You see I have 0 0.006 moles of hydroxide. So I'm going to do a little conversion. I start with 0 0.006 mole of hydroxide. If I want to convert from moles of one thing on one side of the equation to moles of another, I have to, you know, I can use a conversion factor. If I look at the equation again, for every one mole of hydroxide, I'm actually going to gain uh, one mole of fluoride as well. So that means that I am going to have 0 0.006 moles of fluoride ions, okay? But they're not asking me for the moles of fluoride, they're asking me for the molarity of fluoride. And molarity is always the amount of moles of the solute divided by the total liters of solution. So, on the bottom, I have the total liters, again, if you look back at the original, if you look back at part C, I have 25 plus 15 milliliters. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to say, okay, in parentheses here, 25 plus 15 milliliters. That's what I'm going to wind up getting. It's going to be, what, 20, 30, 40, 40 milliliters, and I need to convert this to liters. So 10 to the 3 milliliters in 1 liter, get the milliliters to cancel. Basically, I'm going to get... Uh, 0 0.006 divided by 40 times 10 to the negative 3 on my calculator, and then that should wind up giving me a final answer of um, 0 
around 1,5 molarity, and that's for a fluoride, okay? So that is part 1D. Let me scroll down to part E. Um, for part E, they're asking you to calculate the pH of solution, 1E. E. Okay. Now, again, I want to look back at this, and I want to remind you guys that this is a buffer solution. Okay. If I want to calculate the pH of a buffer, it's a teeny tiny bit more complicated than calculating the pH um, of just a regular acid or, or base. So if I'm calculating the pH of the buffer, I want to look on my formula sheet and I want to find this formula, pH equals pKa plus the log of the, it's going to say on your formula sheet, the conjugate base divided by the original acid. Okay. Now in this case, I know that the conjugate base is the fluoride ion and the acid would be the hydrofluoric acid like that. Okay. So this is what I'm going to use. Also, I didn't get pKa. I also need to keep in mind that the pKa is just the negative log of the Ka. So what I'm going to have here is my pH is going to be equal to, um, what was the Ka again? It's going to be equal to the negative log of 7.2 times 10 to the negative 4. I borrowed that all the way from question number, like the beginning of the question. That was the Ka, negative log of that, plus the log of, now I need the concentration of fluoride, which I have right here. So it's going to be the log of 0 0.15 divided by my concentration of hydrofluoric acid. And the concentration of hydrofluoric acid, I'm going to borrow it as well from a previous question um, uh, up here, 0 0.01. This is how much hydrofluoric acid I have remaining in the solution. I hope you guys can see this, 0 0.01. So I'm going to put that at the bottom. 0 0.01. No, 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 0 0.1. Well, I have a really like short, short memory. Anyway, um, when you wind up working this out on your calculator, you should wind up getting about 3.14 plus 0 0.018. Your final answer should be equal to around 3.32. That's your final pH. I don't know if there's any more left to this question. Nope, that's it. All right. And that's the end of this question. So I hope you guys got it right. I'm going to try to follow up this video with answers to question number two and an explanation. And inshallah, that helped. Let me know how you guys did on the bottom. If anybody wants extra credit, it's going to be on the bottom of the screen. Bye.